Hyderabad based Greenco Group and Belgium based John Cockrell recently announced that they would build a hydrogen electrolyzer gigafactory targeting 2 gigawatt in India. This would be the largest such facility outside of China. This partnership will reportedly entail an investment of about 4000 crore rupees. Analysts told Business Standard that Reliance Industries, Larsen and Tubro and Adani together have earmarked investments of close to 6 trillion rupees in green hydrogen projects. Clearly, green hydrogen is powering the ambitions of India Inc and this push by major corporate names comes as the government which launched a green hydrogen policy in February bets big on the sector. On 15th August last year, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the National Hydrogen Mission as a step towards environmental security and making India a global hub for the production and export of green hydrogen. However, becoming a major exporter of green hydrogen will not be feasible by 2030. given our stated target domestic requirements and planned capacities india's demand in 2021 as per snp global commodity insights uh, which is a subdivision of snp global uh, uh, was around 8.5 million metric ton in 2021 and this demand is expected to rise to 11 million metric ton by 2030 the target that india has set for itself is around 5 million metric ton so in some ways what india is trying to achieve is some level of self sufficiency to meet around half of its demand through locally produced green hydrogen which should be economically competitive so it will be a step in direction of self sufficiency but what you were ref- uh, what, if we have to talk about uh, whether india will be exporting uh, a surplus that might not necessarily happen by 2030 but some of these ambitious targets that many corporates are pursuing seem to be directed towards ultimately moving into a position of energy exports nonetheless india's green hydrogen ambitions are nothing to sneeze at india plans to manufacture 5 million tons of green hydrogen per year by 2030 this would be half of the european union's 2030 target of 10 million tons india's target sounds impressive when compared to china's relatively shorter term plans the country has announced a target to produce up to 200,000 tons per year of green hydrogen by 2025. India's power minister R K Singh has said that India will need at least 10 GW of electrolyzer capacity. If that is indeed the target, it is substantial. Meanwhile, according to KPMG, the EU is committed to have 40 GW of hydrogen electrolyzer capacity by 2030. Spain, Germany and France have announced their commitment to install 4 GW 5 GW and 6.5 GW of green hydrogen respectively by 2030. The Global Hydrogen Review 2021 by the International Energy Agency details announced targets of various governments that adopted national hydrogen strategies. The data reveals among individual countries only Chile pips India so far with plans to have 25 GW electrolysis target by 2030. Clearly, India has set stiffer targets than its European peers. But if China goes through with its plans, then India's capacities will pale in comparison. In September 2021, reports emerged that China's hydrogen industry body, which is supervised by its government, had called for installing 100 GW of green hydrogen electrolyzers by 2030. At the end of the day, however, it will all boil down to how much the green hydrogen costs. If you really want to make uh, green hydrogen viable for most of the hard to abate sector, the 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 cost must come down to around one and half dollar to two dollar per kg, which is comparable to what is grey hydrogen today. For that, the electrolyzer cost must come down to around two hundred dollar per kilowatt hour, and its utilization must go up. Uh, to 80 85% and also the renewable cost if it can come down further by around 25 30% that will also help so overall these three things are in the mix to make sure that you know uh, green hydrogen comes down to a level of 1 and 1/2 dollar to 2 dollar range per kg let's also look at the scale of the challenge ahead according to snp global commodity insights data cited by a financial daily There are 26 hydrogen projects in India with a total capacity of 255,000 tons per year. However, 
a majority of these announced projects are still in their early stages. Only around 8,000 tons per year of capacity is expected to be operational by 2024. The gap between intent and execution is clear. Time will reveal if that's a mountain we can climb. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.